So what is it, what did that look like? Did it look like um, uh, what was that place, Gillies? That's what I imagine that to oh, look like. Oh, I've actually played. There's another club in Dallas that is the comparable to Dillies and I, Gillies, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's literally a uh, as big as uh, you know, just three times as big as this entire building, and right. it has seven different clubs going on. One is square dancing. One's a country band, and they're all open. It's almost like a entertainment market. Uh -huh. And one room they did comedy in, and these cowboys would come in with the hats and the and the uh, the date, and they they stand. They wouldn't come in the room because they were just shopping. Right. Uh -huh. They would just stand in the doorway and look for a minute. Then you'd see all that, and they'd walk off. And then you'd go out after your show and look at them. They'd all be those same people be square dancing. It's just a big entertainment market. Anything you want. And they actually had the uh, mechanical bull room, people, and there was a line to get into that. And, th and then that other place, the w what was that? You, the place where you took the LSD and... Oh, Oscars in Louisiana. It was, uh, you know, just a, a terrible, terrible, terrible disco. The fl disco stage was about 10 feet by 10 feet. What song was it? What, what was it? Disco, I mean, was it like Casey and the Sunshine being kind of right. crap or... Right. But then they'd throw in a country song. You and, bet. And also during the show, which I forgot to mention, was they kept the disco ball lit and moving, so it was fairly surreal. You know, the, the light was just keeping. So moving. people were. And we were tripping, and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> and just every once in a while, a bottle would hurl right past your face, and they were really going for you. They were right. luckily they were so drunk, their aim was off. But they would. Th no one was sitting. They were all standing. Right. Or, they were waiting level. to dance. Oh. Right, they were all around the rail, just. <laughs> Did you get any laughs? No, zero. They're, they didn't even listen to us. They, they immediately started throwing things. Hmm. And kids today, they think they've got it made. Well, they have these comedy clubs to work in. That's right. <laughs> Well, did you, did you ever work Joe Dunkel's room in no. Michigan? It no. was above a hockey rink. This little that's oh where I started. It's above a hockey rink. So you'd just be getting to your punchline. All of a sudden, the hockey team would score, <laughs> <laughs> and it was no cover, quarter beer night, and it was do or die. I mean, it was do or die. They smelt blood, they'd kill you. I've, I've worked uh, several bowling alleys, and uh, one in Detroit, this place called Chaplin's. And I, oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah, and I knew I was in trouble. And when, uh, when I was at the hotel, I said, how do you get to the club? Okay, you go out on the street, and you're going to pass three bowling alleys on the left. Go down to the end, take a right. You're going to see two bowling alleys on your right. Keep going. You're going to pass three more bowling alleys, take a left, and it's the bowling alley you come to. So let me get this straight. You guys like bowling around here. Yes, the guy we goes, do. He goes, not really. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so we go there, and it was uh, <clears throat> literally, uh, you'd be on stage in the bowling, and you see a million cars. And you go, oh, maybe there's a crowd. Right. And you go into your side, the comedy side, and there's nothing. The bowling alley filled. And people would be in the show if they'd finally, the overflow, where they'd come in and sit down, and then they'd go, Johnson, you're laying. Right. And they'd get up and leave, and that was, you'd have to wait until the overflow happened again. So Chaplin's is in a bowling alley? Mm -hmm. An active bowling alley. That's a Dunkel room. Is it? That's Joe Dunkel. <laughs> He's the king, eh? Yes, he is the king <laughs> of destruction. <laughs>